Archie is called ESL One Birmingham 2019. Time to head over to our commentary team then as we get ready for game number one in series number two to decide all the marbles in Group B. Onto mid one, who is copying a pretty good amount of damage. And let me say this: Lena matchup versus TA, uh -huh. uh, not the best, but not the worst. Okay. Because of her boosted attack speed, of course, she can cut through refraction charges quite quickly. Mm -hmm. But it does mean that her new caress is not as good. Like being able to dragon slave plus one, you know, the two for one that we always talk about isn't really possible. As Insania likely to die here. Very fire. That's going to give him a little bit extra leeway. Yapster is really cutting for it, but not going to be able to do it. Oh. He does cancel the healing salve of oh, Insania, but gives up the first blood. Taiga, who made the rotation. Shout out to him, by the way. He looks excellent. He's going to need a charge to get out of here. And Alliance knows they without a stun. Oh, unless the LC. Wow. Beautiful setup nice there catch. for Mikke. And he's got the Laguna Blade. Not sure if he really needs to use it. He'll hold on to that big ultimate Dyer's now. Stopped him in traffic right there. Attack. But what were we talked about? Well, right now we're talking about uh, 50 most picked heroes of the previous patch. Darkseer had the sixth highest win rate, and Lena had the worst. Ooh. Oh, we were talking about Tide as, as why he needs items or whatever. It's oh, because yeah. you don't ever want to be locked into just being a Ravage bot. Yeah. That makes your hero feel incredibly worthless. You want to feel multiple anchor smashes. You want to be tanky enough that oh, your crack shell has an impact. Go. But here, he is not tanky enough against the double ion shell with Puppy. I think that might have even been triple ion shell for a small window there. Taiga is going to be slowed down here as he tried to TP rotate over His to help HP out the Tidehunter. Done. But he is just surrounded to be able to kill him in time. I felt like you were just kind of throwing spells to throw spells. Yeah, that feels like one of those positions. If anything, I feel like they could have made a move on the Nisha top. Yeah, Nisha was seeing the Ice Blast actually came out of the jungle and back into lane for a moment there. Lena in some big trouble here. They can actually stay on top of her with the Spectre, but now Fox is going to join him. He doesn't have that Ravage, though. Using it earlier may have just cost his Lena his life. They aren't going to be able to get the Terrorize. That actually roots in the Wiz. He wasn't able to get out of that Cold Feet area. Now the Bedlam will help finish off that uh, Squishier here on the Darkseer, but it's Ancient Apparition who's going to go down. Now they're going to focus on the Wiz in the back line as the Yapster does end up falling. Puppy using his ultimate to try and get in position, but running into Brambles there. Three dead on the side of Secrets. Uh, looks like we're gonna see a trade. Bottom lane, you want your Tide Hunter to be there, your big beefy guy, to frontline this. But most likely, it's looking like looks like he's gonna be fine at defending this. And in fact, they find Nisha again, but he's getting deep into his jungle right now. Just gonna make the defense happen at bottom. They have such a global presence with their team. Fox, he does have the Ravage, he's threatening to blow it out with the Ice Blast over the top. Maybe they can burst down one of these heroes, but there's still a Refraction up on mid one. They've already burned through it though, and Mickey tries to go for it, but there is going to be that big Surge. Gets him out of the way of that AoE stun, away from the Brambles as well. They're going to get Zai here, looks like that is going to help things out. It would have kind of sucked if they'd blown Ravage and only killed the five position and actually, yeah. Um, just the way, especially the way that Meld works, right? Like, you're full of commitment, melee hero, so... Mid one after whatever item he decides to go for, which is going to be the Daedalus, has to go for a Nullifier next. We are talking about Deep Future though. Right now, like when BKB, her timing starts falling off and stuff, this is still a fresh 10 second BKB yes. for mid one. This is going to be a very strong team fight potentially for Team Secret, especially if they can get the jump here. Madara, his smoke is going to pop, so is Zai. Zai, they're going to try and target him down first. Safety can burst him down with the Ice Blast to terrorize in the back line as well. The Ravage goes out, controlling up those heroes. All of that used to be able to kill a Darkseer. They got him, yes. Mid one, meanwhile, popping his BKB. is trying to focus down some heroes. Going for the Tidehunter isn't the best target. Now his BKB is out. He used 10 seconds to kill nothing. Didn't kill the Ancient Apparition. Couldn't finish off the Tidehunter. Make a dodged him as well. And now that means all of Alliance is here to be able to finish off Nisha. Secret, lose four, and get nothing. Four of Alliance are low. Yell right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the relocate's coming in from the side. They do have the charge onto Taiga right now, and that is a misterrorize. But as long as it's only Taiga and not Mickey, pretty yeah, sure Alliance be... is super happy with the exchange. That one for one is 
Good for them, but though. yeah, mid one just walking into the Roche pit and the trap should see the Tidehunter coming in too. Just gonna get uh, charged through him. Boxy slightly controlled. They're gonna go for the Sven here. Look how quickly he's actually maybe dying here. Does manage to get off the war cry, but it's immediately taken down by a couple of shots from mid one. Madara, though, has already used God Strength and BKB. He's gonna throw out the Ravage. Is Alliance really ready to take this T fight? I'm not so sure. Madara's gonna come back in, try and take this one with Ravage, controlling up these heroes. Madara came back in and died. Puppy, he may be gone on by Tiger, but that doesn't really matter. If the Ice Blast coming in, though, that's gonna matter a lot more. His mid one is at half HP right now, but they have no damage to follow up on that one. Mickey is currently farting around. With Zai, he's trying to deal some damage out to this Darks here, but he has too much sustain. And now the charge, Puppy. Okay, he actually canceled that charge, but that's okay. I am Mickey's dead anyway. So surprised they decided to take that fight. It's inherently messy. Yeah, and you try and treat it clinically as you want, but I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. But it, you know, it doesn't make it any less entertaining. And it's just what happens in Dota. You know, you get a little bit over aggressive. You see some moves on the map, and you want to be decisive, so you go for it. All smoke behind Nisha. It almost seems like they're trying to bait him right now. Oh, but both teams are going to know about each other's presence with uh, Boxy coming oh, forward. they're still going to go for Nisha as they've shown mid one in the mid lane. The charge on in is going to be able to slow down Monora. Nisha's actually thinking about turning and fighting right now. He feels comfortable enough with this, and they do manage to get the stun out. There goes the Ravage, but mid one just keeps on focusing on this Sven. While Sven trying to go for Puppy, trying to hide into the tree, starts to make a Tiger set as well. Mid one beating through some of these heroes. Now the side blades out onto Boxy. They're going to leave that one up next as Alliance has definitely lost this fight. It's just a question of how many heroes they're gonna lose. Oh, got the charge off. Does have the charge on a Mickey. That's a much more important kill, but it looks like Insania is very dead. He doesn't have a TP, so they're eventually gonna kill him. And, and he gets they, the charge hit. They have to relocate to get on top of Lena, but they may not even need it. It's one shot, two shot. That's gonna be enough. And Aegis down, and as you said, he doesn't have BKB, so they can just stick on top of him in his second life, and he'll die so quickly. Show me that win probability, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> and and Zai gonna give him the surge. Re Ion shells him, and they were thinking about it. You know what? funny if they actually smoked up into the enemy jungle Nisha was very isolated but he does that buyback now and I think the Darkseer doesn't based on his gold and he's still far away 900 gold away is boxy I get hit by the trap Nisha is going in here right now starts poking at him there's the cold feet and all the fire onto the Sven they want to make sure he can't use his satanic to be able to turn around like he did last time the nether strike he tried to hold him up but he gets off the BKB he needs to he swing though hit. and he couldn't get it a big crank comes out from mid one that finishes off him and now the fight for alliance is over they're just trying to get out as many heroes as possible as insane he gets his TP off a box he's certainly dead they're going to be forced into three different buybacks here and they will not have BKB or god strength on the Sven which are all important. Yeah, now secret. They're just ignoring the Roche. They force all three buybacks. Savage terrorize come. I guess he thinks that uh, he's gonna boom, boom, boom. Realm, realm, realm. Gonna hit through that refraction fast. Maybe he's thinking real late game. Like eventually, I'm gonna turn into a right clicker. And Everyone admit it, is. And mid it 115. Austin, they're not thinking about the late game. It's <laughs> <laughs> the late game was 30 minutes ago. Uh, this this shit's about as long as like Battlefield Earth the movie at this point. Like we've, if you committed to watching this game, like this is a this is a full, uh, full feature length film at this point. There goes Spectre Ultimate. But Mickey's not out of position. They're gonna try and get the vacuum in. They do have the science. They're going for Madara right the now. Double with the BKB, the God Strength. They do have the Terror right out with the Terror. But oh, Jesus, the Tide's dead. So is Fed. Mickey's gonna go down here. The Ravage goes down, actually saving Mickey. But they don't have a whole lot of damage, do they? Unless Alina can do enough. Darks here gets a little bit low, but his Nisha start charging forward. Mickey has to go back to the fountain here. That region, he definitely needs it as they are gonna be able to bring down another one. Darks here as well as Spirit Breaker have bought back. That is gonna be Megas. But the big tanks, Nisha, mid one, big damage dealers are still alive. They got the Mount Bash now. Nisha gets on top of him with the no fire as well. No, he gets a four step back in the fountain. Are they going to die in the fountain? No, they're going to focus on the buildings. Go for their tier fours as best as possible. They should know. And at three versus five, there's no way Alliance can take them. They just shred the building so damn quickly. Boxy goes for the back line, trying with the site. But again, they just keep on running the damage dealer. The only one that's left inside of Mickey. And they get him this time with the Nola fire. No fight back for him either. That is going to be Boxy dead inside of the fountain. Insania will be run down finally. Alliance will give up this game one as we hate five minute mark exactly. I think 87,000 gold. <laughs> we almost, we just hit the 85 minute mark. They look exhausted by the way.